One of my favorite tools here in the garage is the air compressor. You can see it right there. It uh, works uh, perfectly, but it has one problem, or should I say a flaw. Uh, you can see it on the yellow sticker there. Yeah, it's noisy, very noisy. Let me show you. I'll turn it on and... Uh... Okay, yeah, very noisy. So what I want to do is uh, build a sound insulating box for it to uh, make it more silent. And uh, yeah, I already done it. I'm sitting right on top of it. And uh, let me start by showing you a build video. It took me quite some time to build this uh, strange box. I will go more into the details later on why it end, uh, ended up like it uh, did. By the way, I, I did a couple of mistakes and normally I just take them off the video of course, uh, but uh, this time I left one of the mistakes in the video. So you will see me doing something on one clip and in the next clip it's undone. Let me see if you can notice it and uh, leave a comment if you can see it. A bit of a challenge there. So, okay, let's uh, go back in time, uh, one week I guess, and see how it uh, all started. Welcome back to present time. So what I want to do now is to measure the sound level. So I bought this decibel meter and uh, yeah, 
let's see if it uh, really helps uh, putting the compressor into here. But before I do that, just some small uh, stuff I did, uh, not included in the build video. These hinges, for instance, pretty smart, make the door go flush into the case. And a rubber seal here. And uh, yeah, hope that uh, makes it uh, airtight and soundproof. I also put in the power cord, uh, thermo oh, this is a hard word for me to say, thermometer. Yeah, uh, measuring the temperature, easier for me to say. So I have the sensor inside and uh, now it's uh, almost 18 degrees here Celsius. Fahrenheit, I have no idea, some thousand maybe. The fan is on, yeah, everything works. I've uh, tested it like that the mechanics work here, but uh, I haven't tested the sound level yet. But what's really important here is the ventilation system, how I get air in and out of the case. Easier to explain it before like the case is uh, sealed off and uh, hard, to, hard to show, you know. So one more time, back in time. Of course, the best way of creating a sound insulated box is to have it 100% closed. No input or output, just totally sealed from the outer world. That would be soundproof uh, if the walls didn't transfer the sound through them. But of course, an air compressor uh, produces heat. When you compress air, it gets hot. And when you release the air, it gets cold. That's just how the physics works. You probably, if you tested the air compressor, can feel that the air coming out of it is quite cold. So this compressor, as any compressor, is producing a lot of heat and uh, it will be extremely hot in here if it was uh, closed. So I need ventilation. Also, of course, it's compressing air. So it needs to suck air from somewhere and put it in the tank and then transfer it out of the lines. So uh, yeah, it, it needs to get fresh air into the box. So the ventilation system, it, this is the input, the air is blowing in here and uh, this compressor has a fan so it uh, blows air uh, backwards like this and then I made this uh, exhaust, can I call it that, the output of the air and uh, as you can see I made this uh, yeah, this strange uh, contraction there. So the air needs to flow up and down and up and down and out. And the reason for that is, of course, to make the travel path longer for the air. Sorry, for the noise. So when the noise is traveling here, it has a longer path. And you know, the longer away you are from the noise, the lower it will be. It will also break up the uh, sound waves. And uh, when it's hitting all these walls, the sound waves will go like this. And hopefully they will uh, be lower when they exit here. So that is the idea with this. I will put on some uh, fabric, this uh, soft fabric, glue it uh, in here. And uh, you know, a room with a carpet is much quieter than a room with uh, solid floor walls and uh, ceiling. Uh, reflecting the sound uh, much less when it's meeting a uh, soft material. Uh, let me show you the input side. And the same principle here. I will put a fan here to blow air into the case. I used just a computer fan. We'll put it there. It will blow the air. I will have to travel all this way to get to the a chamber where the air compressor is and of course the sound that will be reflecting back from the compressor will have to travel all this way to exit and hopefully this will also make uh, it uh, quieter so uh, yeah not too much noise is getting out of the input and output so what i have to do now is put on the fabric here uh, insulation uh, I'm using Rockwell 3 cm insulation on the inner part and this uh, thinner fabric on the input and output and then put on the lid on the sides and uh, yeah, perhaps I should just uh, transfer you back to the future where I'll, uh, I'm done with all of this work. So, And then I'm ready for testing the noise. I have. Uh, Prepared a lot of stuff, let me show you. So, I have uh, put my uh, 
decibel meter on a tripod here and a GoPro camera so I can measure the sound level. I will also start the compressor and then I will put it into the box and put on the door and I will put on a regular microphone. Are you ready for the test? I have lowered the sound levels on the microphone so do not blow your ears so please do not turn up the volume. Okay, here we go. Definitely more quiet, but I think it's still quite noisy. So I bought a new air compressor, a silent type. Same brand, same size. Let's unbox it. Yeah, here we got it. Very similar except for the motor. It's a different type of motor and it's uh, not as powerful either. It's 750 watts instead of 1500, so it doesn't produce that much air as fast as the previous one, but I hope this is sufficient. But the most important, the stickers on the back side, 78 decibels out of the box. Let's hope that makes a difference. Might mention that I actually used the wheels from the old model because the new ones were, were wide, didn't fit in my box. And also this knob here, the power knob, was rattling very much. So I changed the screw here, added the o-ring. So the rattling noise is away. So let's test it outside and inside of the case. That was easy peasy. As you probably understood, I took the case upstairs in my garage. And that's also reason why I made this odd angled shape on the case. Because uh, as you can see, my garage ceiling is going uh, all the way to the walls. So to be able to tuck away the case in the corner, right uh, under the ceiling, I made this uh, slope here. Another small improvement I did to the air compressor. If you remember, it was a couple of lids on top of here, uh, this. And they were also rattling a bit. So I just removed them. They are no use for me. It's uh, uh, safe inside my case anyway. Also, I added some uh, O-rings to the wheels because they were also rattling. So removing all small noise because of the vibrations. Not much vibration from this compressor, but a bit. Yeah, making it even more silent, I hope. So, then I will just uh, connect the lines and uh, then go downstairs and listen how quiet it will be finally.
And I'm back down in the garage area and now you can hear the compressor running upstairs. It's not very loud. Very, very satisfied with the solution. And I'm also measuring the sound here on my decibel meter. And as an additional bonus, I got to free up the space in my garage. So now I have just the houses for the compressor lines there. And I have a spot for my motorcycle to park where the compressor previously was. So my conclusion, will I recommend you building a enclosure for your air compressor to make it more silent? <sighs> Not really. Well, it does work. Uh, I'll play these four clips now, uh, the old and the new compressor inside and outside with the same sound level. So you can hear for yourself how much the enclosure helps on reducing the noise. As you could hear, the enclosure really helps. It reduces the sound level from the air compressor, of course. But I don't think anyway it's worth the cost and the time on building it. If you have a really noisy air compressor, like my old one, 85 decibels measured from three meters, inside of the enclosure, I got it down to 70. And that, that's huge. But 70 decibel, it's still loud. And uh, normal speech, it's uh, supposed to be 58 decibels, so it's way louder than normal speech. And 10 decibel is like twice as high. So you still need uh, hearing protection or it will be very annoying to move around in your workshop with 70 decibel loudness of the air compressor. So buying a silent compressor that is just as I did measure to around 60 decibel without any enclosure, it's half the height of the noise as the old one inside of the box. So, and the cost, yeah, I should mention, it's not cheap to build this enclosure. I had most of the materials. For me, the cost was uh, close to nothing. I had to buy these eccentric blocks and some glue. Didn't cost me much, but if you were to buy all the material, it will probably be more expensive, the enclosure, than a new reasonable priced air compressor. It, of course, everything depends here. It depends on the size and what you can do uh, with uh, what you have. So by all means, it can vary. So I guess my conclusion is, no, I don't think it's worth it to building a enclosure like this rather just buy a silent air compressor. And uh, of course, if you have a silent air compressor and you want it even more silent, then you have no other option than to try to remove the noise from it. So then, yeah, okay, it can work. And for me, I'm really satisfied with the solution, but uh, uh, I think you rather skip it. Well, that is at least my opinion. Maybe you have another opinion. Let me know in the comment section. That's all for me this time. Hope to see you again later. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.